Greetings everyone. My name is Luanda Mkwerere and I'll be doing the conservation planning unit of Zimbabwe. As we all know that Zimbabwe is, is situated at the southern at the southern of Africa and is surrounded by Mozambique, South Africa, Zambia and Botswana. Zimbabwe Zimbabwe's capital town is known as Harare and also it is the second the second largest city which is Bulawayo. And we, it is known that in the Harare has the largest population. As we know that the country has about 229 protected areas, and that one of those protected areas is Chimanani Mountains, which is situated next to Mozambique, and it is, uh, covers about 300 hectares, and followed by the Botanic Garden, which is, has about 58 hectares which, and grows about 900 trees, which are influenced by the vegetation of high veld, low veld, and eastern highlands. And furthermore, the country has a protected area which is known as Victoria Falls, which is next to Zambia, and also it covers about 56,000 hectares and protects animals such as elephant, cape, buffalo, white rhino, and hippo, and various other antelope. And furthermore, the largest national natural reserve in Zimbabwe is known as Hangwe National Park, which is next to Bulawayo, and is not is noted to Victoria Falls and near to Denta, and covers about 44,000. Zimbabwe is a landlocked country in southern Africa, lying between the latitude of 15 degrees and 23 degrees south and the longitude of 25 degrees and 34 degrees east and also it has few endemic species which is influenced by the colonization of nearby countries such as South Africa, Zambia and Mozambique and furthermore the well-known Hangu National Park is one of the 229 protected areas found in the region. The country ha has about a population of about 16 million 44,809 and hence the country's agriculture is influenced by the climatic conditions and um, uh, with the distinct annual rainfall with an average below 40 millimeters in low-lying areas and up to six 900 millimeters over central watershed and 1,500 millimeters in parts of the eastern high veils. From the 229 protected areas found in, the, in, 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 the, in Zimbabwe, it is known that 27% of the land of these protected areas is conserved in the country and that the country failed to conduct a conservation research and thus we know that there are few endemic species f observed in the country whereby we have only one mammal that has been observed and seven reptiles that have been observed and five amphibians that are being observed as well as one fresh fish species and also with 232 plants that have been recorded in the country and thus we know that to to record this we use the IUC red list the country has done a great in terms of conserving species that are threatened such as rhino whereby there is a rhino poaching which is caused by the human interference to the ecosystem during the experiment to Conducted the con the conservation planning unit. We did the the various models, which whereby we used the ArcView address and Diva. From ArcView, we then prepared the hexagon shape file, as well as from the Diva, we then used the population of the country and landmass. And then from address, we were able to vector and raster the shape file from from Diva. And then we also ran the marks, and whereby we have to create the new current the new and the current reserves of the species of the protected areas for the reserves we then did the Zimbabwe land cover in figure one whereby we we illustrate the crops that are were widely distributed across the country and also we determine the we extract the two files from the land cover which was the artificially and the crop production and hence we can see that the in the cities Harare and Bulawayo the two artificial patches were high in figure two and thus in figure three we then did the the tena unit as well as in figure four it is the protected areas whereby the protected areas consist of national parks, recreation parks and so forth. And also from figure from figure five, we then did the hotspot of the country. Whereby we can 
observed that Ramfolian Marshall it, it, it is found in the hotspot which is known as the Eastern Afro Montana, and that is followed by the figure six whereby we then did the grassland of the country and then the country is influenced by three grasslands the southern african bushveld sambesian biken woodlands as well as the sambesian and mopani woodlands and therefore we then did the crossing of the disturbed land whereby we wanted to determine the pricing of the species the pricing of the land and we found out the land that are in urban areas are more expensive and followed by figure eight whereby we did the ecological land use and then we also did the watershed of the country in figure 9 and then we also did figure 10 the systematic planning unit and ecological planning unit furthermore from the result the results uh, the results show that the two e systems differ whereby systematic planning unit in the second round had few species that were protected than ecological planning unit and furthermore we then determine we then determine the area of the two best protected areas that we generated whereby we found out that systematic planning unit had less hectares to that were going to be implemented in the new in the new protected area hence ecological planning unit had more hectares that were going to be created in the new current we then did the conservation strategy for the species whereby we created a species on whether they are endemic and also they are near endemic and that those who are near endemic are those that are found in the surrounding are also found in the surrounding countries. We then did we then did the threatened and endemic species, whereby we found out that the threatened and endemic species are the most would have highest values is the amphibia and the mammals, and that's the least is the fresh water. And furthermore, we also did the conservation of species based on the ISN red list, whereby we are able to categorize species on how they are exposed to the environment and how they are endangered. That we follow the least concerned, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critical endangered, and extinct in the, in the world. And thus we then did the endemic species with Ramfolian Marshali, which is one of the endemic species, and it is, it is mostly vulnerable. And then we also discovered the pendant discrepancies which is the is least critical and a uh, malacrotrix type which is also least critical and and the uh, artillery frontalis which is less critical and the rat changon merleri which is least critical and followed by the amphibia atroleptis troglotis which is critical and injured and followed by the another amphibia, which is Proviceps rotationus, which is endangered, and followed by a fundi, Jokovins inyanga, which is also endangered, and the other amphibia, Pititad and Uzungwensin, which is also least critical, and another amphibia, which is Hyperolius rotationus, which is less critical, and Amesia inyanga, which is endangered, and other the bread, Bucharanas, which is Contrulata, which is vulnerable and the Mephrata chinasa, which is known to be near, near critical, and Cassatas facilotas, which is also near threatened, and also Sadotral arrest, which is critical and dangerous, and followed by the Asinonyx chupatas, which is vulnerable, and also Roxodanta africanas, which is one of the fundamental species that can be observed when this vulnerable and Diceros Bacchonus, which is critical and dangerous, as well as the Lycon Peters, which is when which is vulnerable therefore from these species we're able to see that they need to be conserved on the basis of how they they are they respond to the environment which are then show that they are mostly vulnerable to becoming extinct therefore from these species it's very important that we manage these species at, at, at becoming at risk of becoming extinct therefore for us to do so it is very important that we consider these planning units and therefore the, this is one of the advantages of doing the conservation planning unit. and also if we continue with the conservation planning we are able to create an, an, an educational awareness to the society to be able to know how to conserve endangered species and that's also the pl conservation of planning units to create new protected areas uh, provide a 
important role in terms of economy of the country. Since we know that in my country, Zimbabwe, it, is, it has a less economic growth and therefore it is very important that we implement these national parks that will play an important role in increasing the economy. Furthermore, there is also a disadvantage of doing so. For instance, in terms of creating conservation planning units, it has become expensive to create conservation planning units in urban areas as the land become more expensive, such as as is shown in Figure 7. And furthermore, the uh, new land areas that are protected and the, uh, they are limited to the crop protection, which is one of the fundamental Im impacts that the country has in terms of in increasing the economic growth, which is the crop protection in terms of agriculture. And therefore, if we create these protected areas, we limit this crop production land. And therefore, also, if we do the conservation planning unit, we violate the law legislature for free land for the citizens, as the government has implemented a law that says that the citizens need to have their land back. Therefore, if we continue creating this new l l land, the people are not ha going to have their land. In conclusion, from the two planning unit, it can be observed that the systematic planning unit is, is the one that can be done in order to create a new conservation, new conservation areas, as it uses less, as it uses less hectares in terms of, in terms of space, and therefore also it it uses it uses fewer less new reserve as the ecological planning unit uses a more more reserve areas as well as the as well as it takes more hectares in diameter therefore it is very important that during the time we do the conservation planning we consider the systematic conservation planning in zimbabwe thank you